So you might be asking yourself, what is faux embroidery for DTF? How can you use it in your business and what does it look like? Let's answer all those questions right now. Today's topic is a couple of different things combined. So we've talked about recently uh, leveraging AI, specifically things like ChatGPT and Dolly and those other uh, kinds of AI services for your business. So today we're gonna be looking a little more specifically at the graphics side of things and using it to kind of jump on the bandwagon of a recent trend, which is faux embroidery. We're taking a look at the latest trend in DTF, faux embroidery. We are doing faux embroidery. Where you have a design that looks like it's embroidered, but it's actually a digital print. So that's becoming very popular nowadays. We're going to be showing you the process of using AI to make graphics for that. Uh, beforehand, we did go ahead and scrape a program called Doll E for some graphics. We took it into Photoshop, knocked out the backgrounds. I'm just gonna type faux embroidery Jeep and we'll see what it gives us. And so it's giving you some examples here as it's loading um, an oil painting by Matisse of a humanoid robot playing chess. Um, so in this case, we're going for the faux embroidery style and we're just asking for a Jeep. Yeah, so take a look. We've got a couple of options here, you know. Um, kind of like this one the most. You know, you got the door off, got the seats in there. Um, and then you would just go in and take out the background. It seems pretty clean uh, edge, so that shouldn't give us too much trouble. So you find one you like, take it into your photo editor software, knock out the background, and then I will have you over here. So in here we have a couple of different graphics. Um, so for the trees, the, the search term was faux embroidery um, bonsai tree, leafy green bonsai tree was uh, this one, and I think this one was just a regular tree uh, that, it, that we asked for. Uh, this one I searched for faux embroidery uh, colorful happy dragon and then massive dragon breathing fire on a town so so that's the one that I think we'll start with and we're gonna load up a DTF sheet um, so we're all set here we're gonna go ahead and adjust the height I really like the happy dragon that's my favorite one so it's gonna go ahead and get started colorful happy dragon in the style of embroidery. What we'll do now, I'm gonna hand this off. He's going to go and powder the print. Um, he's going to throw it into uh, the heat press to uh, cure the ink. He'll press it onto a shirt and then he'll bring it back. Um, so while he does that, we're going to go ahead and load up another one. So this one doesn't give off too much of an embroidery feel. This one gives me more of, like I said, like more of a color pencil uh, approach to it. So there wasn't any um, changes to the art. Uh, you treated it like you normally would in the RIP software. The only thing that we did beforehand is knocking out the background. Sometimes when you ask it for art, um, the software will put it onto a background of some kind, uh, which is either easier or more difficult to crop out depending on what kind of background it gives you. The one that I did earlier uh, as a clean example. And so you would throw that up onto t-shirt or tote bag or whatever material and you would be ready to sell it. And here is the other one that just transferred. There we go, nice. Boom. And that's it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notifications whenever we post a new video. And we'll see you next week, bye.